Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to talk a little bit about Mac data recovery. So let's say you have a hard drive and it's not mounting on the desktop and you need to recover your files that were on that hard drive. The first step you're all going to do is go into your utilities folder and run disk utility. And hopefully that will fix your hard drive. But what happens if it doesn't? What happens if no matter what you do you can't fix this hard drive and you need to kind of go in a little bit deeper in order to get uh, the applications or the um, documents or your photos that are on this hard drive back. So there's some applications out there that allow you to go to the next level of disk recovery. One of them are called Mac Data Recovery from Stellar Phoenix. Now what Mac Data Recovery will do is it will scan for a hard drive that's still functioning but not mounting, look for all the files in it, and give you an opportunity to recover those files on your desktop. So uh, you'd actually have to have an OS running and you'd have to have the application running on the OS, but the hard drive could be an external drive, it could be a thumb drive, and it will work on most Macs. So let's get started and see how this application works and um, we're going to create a scenario on the screen right now kind of the way it would happen if your hard drive crashed. So I have a hard drive right here. Let's open it up. We have uh, three documents in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to unmount the disk right here. So now this hard drive is no longer mounting. So it's basically sitting somewhere, but it's not really on the desktop anymore. I'm going to start a new scan. And you can see how it's grayed out. There it goes. It disappeared. So now I'm going to start a new scan, and it sees that missing hard drive right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on Recover Data and see if it can actually recover from an unmounted disk anything. So let's click on that and see how quickly it is. I have a choice of hitting Quick Scan or Advanced Scan. I'm just going to hit Quick Scan, and I'm going to start. And the scan's complete, and here are all of the items it found. Now. As you know, we saw a test document, which is one of the documents I wanted. We have a Google logo, logo color, which is just basically a Google logo. And this feature that allows you to double click on it and actually see the, the photo before you've even recovered it is one of the coolest features that this application has. So I can select that by checking it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit recover. And when I hit recover, it's going to say, where do I want to recover it to? And I'm going to go right to the desktop. And I'm going to hit choose. And it's going to create a root folder, as it did right here. And let's take a look in the root folder. And as you can see, here is that Google um, file. And here is a Word file that I created, just a test document. But let's open it up and make sure it's an actual uh, working copy. There it is. And that was my test document. So it basically took care of it. It recovered it off of an unmounted disk. Really, really cool. So that's as easy as it is to work this application. They have a lot of other features um, that you can actually save the scan that you did and resume it later. This could be very helpful if you have a really big hard drive, you know, that's a lot of uh, gigs and that it would take a really long time to recover it so you might want to do it in a couple of different sessions you know not to have your computer running all the time so obviously the bigger the hard drive the longer it's going to take but this will find things that were put into the trash this will find um, things that um, you may usually not be able to recover using just a disk utility application so I hope you like this video and again I'm going to put a link to where you can download the application it's real easy to install you're just going to download it, go into your downloads folder, and then you will open up this uh, little icon. It's a DMG file. And you're going to drag this application into the folder. And once you do that, you're going to simply open it, as I have done here. And again, all you have to do is click on your hard drive and select which kind of um, recovery you want to do. And if you don't find it on the quick scan, you can click the advanced scan. And that's all there is to it. Hope you like this video. Like it if you like it. Look in the comments for the link to try out the software yourself. And thanks for listening. And subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these Mac tips for more to come. Thanks for listening.